Kids Live makes some noise for our roommate, Francesca and When the music stops, you gotta freeze! Steve, Steve, Steve.
Talk about the city. I want to see how you guys know about anything about the city. We're going to be doing some city trivia for you. City trivia. City trivia. So we're going to be jumping on the fun bus. Oh, I love yeah, that. Yeah, jumping on the fun bus. Hey, it's fun. So we're fun bus. Woo! I can hear you. Yeah. All right. So we're going to be fun bus. So, yes, yeah, fun bus trivia. If you know the answer, Put the answer in comments, or if you're live with us here, okay. you shout it out. All right, so what's the first question? First up to you today in our fun bus city trivia is, which of these cities has the most skyscrapers? skyscrapers. Whoa. What are skyscrapers? Skyscrapers are big old okay. buildings that Super are buildings. scraping the sky because they're Ooh, so like high. Like skyscrapers. Okay. So is it Singapore? B, Tokyo, C, Chicago, or D, New York, where no, we have to be. What do you guys think? Okay. Which of these big cities? They're all big time cities. E, okay. Which e, one? E, we got some New York. Well, we New York. What do you guys say at home? What do say you? Is it e, A, Singapore, B, Tokyo, C, Chicago, or e, D, New York? E, hmm. Well, let's see, guys. The correct answer is, yeah, boom, give it up. It's New York. New York City, baby. New York, there's a, a, I think oh, like over 230 super big high skyscrapers in New York. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow, even over like Tokyo? Yeah, like New York crazy. has the most skyscrapers ever because you can't That's build why out. New York is the best city to live best in. City. You build up. That's it. You don't really have a choice in New York. You gotta keep on building. Oh, there's no more land. What are we gonna do? We're going up. up. That's right. Moving oh. on up. To, okay, so right. Right. next question. Next question for you guys today. All right, true or false? The first ever Krispy Kreme. Mmm, Krispy Kreme. You guys ever had a Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah. Talk yeah. about things to eat in the city. Yeah, donuts. Krispy Kreme. There's, so yeah, that's the thing about, in, for us, the closest Krispy, Krispy, Krispy Kreme is in New York City. Yeah. All right, so the first ever Krispy Kreme donut came from a city in North Carolina. True or false? Is that true or false? What do you guys think? True or false? So the first Krispy Kreme donut did it come from a city in North Carolina. True or false? What do you guys think? Is that true or false? 50-50 uh, chance. There we go. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say true because I just feel like that would come from the South. But I, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Yes, no? no. False. 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 Yeah, I, I like donuts, but I prefer pretzels. Yeah, well, we're not talking about pretzels. I know. Right. Next question. Well, maybe a pretzel shape. A uh, pretzel donut. donut. There are several neighborhoods in the city of San Francisco <laughs> that are built on top of what? Hmm. Really? There are several neighborhoods in the city of Francisco that are built on top of what? A, they're built on top of birds. <laughs> what are you? The birds! It's a bird okay. city. Okay. And they're built on top of icebergs. Um, <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, we'll go to the order. B, landfills. C, icebergs, or D, build up. Hairballs. <laughs> hairballs. <coughs> hairballs, sorry. On hairballs. What do you guys think? You know, the hairballs where, you, where your cat goes up in, 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 in your room, you know, and you're like, ew! What are you doing? Oh, landfills. Landfills? B. Landfills, B. B. I, landfills like, yeah, that's where you throw your garbage. B. I know. I know that's where you throw your garbage, but maybe the garbage... I don't know. I, don't, I was trying to do something. Yeah. Well, the correct answer is, yeah, it's actually being oh, landfills. Yeah. I was hoping to Way to recycle. Bill on birds. That would be kind of fun. Yeah. Way to use the environment for the right way, right? Yeah. See, the, see that robin over there? Yeah, my house is on top of its head. Garbage. Yeah. Yeah. That blue jay? Yeah, that's where my mother lives. Where do you live? I live on a landfill. Yeah. Where do you live? I live on a bird. You live on a bird. Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Ooh, I'm Wings like eagles. Wings? Ooh, I like that. Yeah. So, guys, thank you for joining us for our fun bus trivia. Fun bus! Yay! All right, so what we're going to do to you, we got our, our girl Joe. Oh, Joe on the go. And she's coming okay. at you today. She's live okay. in the city. Jojo? She's going to share you know, some things in the city that she loves. Okay. And so, watch this along with us today. Here we go, little Joe on the go. Joe on the go. I'm Joe Miller, coming at you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Around this city, there are some awesome people that I am so excited for you to get to know. I mean, it's pretty hard to stay still and chill when this place is a treasure trove of talent, coolness, and
and um, basically everyday heroes. From a musician whose songs you're going to be humming all day, to a pro skateboard shredder who's got some crazy moves up his sleeves, this place is full of people who do everyday things in ways you'd never expect. I mean, this city is totally the place to be. Now, before we hit the streets, I thought I'd tell you a little about myself. As I said before, I'm Joe. And for as long as I can remember, I have wanted to be a news reporter. I mean, when I was little, I even used to interview my favorite stuffed animals. So basically, this hard-hitting, street-talking, news-getting, investigative reporting gig is totally my personal dream job. Even when I was first starting out, the news was always my favorite thing to watch. The latest reports, the interesting people, crazy stories. It's just the best! Like those feel-good stories in which Tabby the feline phenomenon meowed her way to stardom in a riveting rendition of the hit Baby Shark. But then there were some stories that made me pretty sad. Like times when the news would report how littering was creating so much trash on the street that it was getting caught in gutters and making a mess. Or even when people were hurting other people. It was really hard to watch that kind. I did some investigative reporting and realized that all of this is happening because there is a battle going on. Yeah, no joke, a legit battle. But the real deal with this battle is, we can't see it. I know, crazy, right? Like, how is that even possible? But that's because it's a spiritual battle going on between God, who is like my favorite ever, and the devil, who is the worst. He is our enemy, which basically means his main goal is to ruin our relationship with God and others. That goes against everything that God wants for our lives. You know, this whole battle thing can seem crazy to think about, but I'm here with an amazing inside scoop. God has given us exactly what we need every day for us to stand strong in this battle and win. It's called the Armor of God. And it's got everything we need to stand firm against the enemy. So, my mission, get the down low on what's happening here in the city and find all kinds of amazing people to put their everyday armor to good use. That's it for today, though. So, stay tuned for the next episode of Joe on the Go. Thanks, Joe. Oh, wow, and thanks, yes, uh, well, I love it. A lot of information. Yeah, and I, 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 that was one of my favorites. Uh, the first one for first reports ever doing about the uh, big oh, shark. Yeah, 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 the cat we dished up. It's I love it. So good. Uh, hey, so yeah, so she asked a really good question at the very beginning. She yep. said that she always wanted to be a news reporter. I want to know real fast. What's something you would love to do when you grow up? Come on, Dad. What, yeah. What's something you want to do? How about you, Mikey? Hi, Mikey. Hey, come like on, What would you like to what do would you when like you grow up? Yeah, drop it in the comments. We want to hear from you. Want to hear? What would you like to be when I you grow up? I want to be a police Ooh, officer. Ooh, Francesca wants to be a police officer. Officer. All right. That's a, 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 that's a good one. Yeah. Please don't arrest your dad. I, I already have that one. Right. Um, what else? Uh, what else? Uh, what else? 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 What yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Actually, you know what I actually wanted to be? I, want, I wanted to be, a, believe it or not, I wanted to be a pastor. Oh, I wanted to tell people about Jesus. Myself. And so, he said, there you go. hey, you can't dance, Never so come. you might as well preach. So he told me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So I, you try to dance while you preach. Huh? It doesn't always work. Yeah. Well, right. people just tell me something. Well, that's why you're such a hey, good I'm children's a pastor. Hey, I'm a preacher. Dun, dun. Okay. <laughs> All right, what do you, anyone else want to be? Hey, what do you want to be? Like, I want to be a doctor. Genevieve. Ooh, Ooh, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Genevieve. Dr. Genevieve. <coughs> Crazy Dr. Beebe. Uh, Gina, Dr. Beebe. Exam room father. No, no, we got one for you. And what do you want to be? Anything else? I want to be a guy that sits on the couch and watch TV all day and eat bonbons. Sweet. That's me, I do. Now, uh, oh, he wants, be a, he wants to be a snack, snack taster. Snack taster. Ooh, wow, that's a good one, too. No? Lego Master. I want to be a snack taster. Game designer. That's some good stuff. Yeah, what do you want to be? Firefighter? Do you want to be, you know, what? That's awesome. Be anything so, that anything you want. So, so she, yep. she's living out the dream. So, but she brought up some things. She said, as a news reporter, she gets to do good things like yep. reporting on cats doing the reedition of like Baby Shark. Stuff. Like, like that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Then she says, there's a lot of sad stuff oh, she has to do yeah. when people aren't being nice to each other, and when people are causing harm to others, yeah. or when people are dirtying up the streets and just throwing yeah. their garbage all over the place. And, and she said, she used the word, she said, it's, there's a battle going on. Did you guys catch that? Yeah. There's a battle going on. 
But she said it's a battle that we can't see. She described it as a, do you remember what she called it, guys? Drop, what did she call that type of battle that What's we that? can't that right see? Now? Anyone remember? Spiritual, spiritual battle. Ooh. Spiritual battle, that's right. Spiritual a battle. spiritual battle that's taking that's place. That's we don't see. And then she said that, you know, it's a spiritual battle between good and evil, yep. between God, and then someone that she described as just the worst. Do you remember? He's the worst. You know, she, she described as just being the worst ever. Satan. Satan, yes, devil. he's our enemy, the devil. The, and he's him. looking to seek to destroy us yeah. and destroy our world. And, the, and and his big job that he's trying to do is keep us separated from okay. God. And so then, but she said, but there's he's hope. The he's the worst, but there's hope. Because so God has given right. us something that we can wear every day. You guys remember oh, what yeah. that is? What can we wear every day? What, what are we, we talking about every today? Day. The armor, that's right. We're gonna, he gave us God the armor. Armor, the armor of God. That's cool. So guys, here, watch this video with us real fast. There's some of the armor of God that we'll be talking about today. Okay, cool. Every day, I will wear the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth so I can fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness to protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots, so I'll be ready to show God's love all day. I hold up the shield of faith to block anything the enemy sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation, so I'll remember God will always love me. I use the sword of the Spirit, because God's word is my best weapon against the enemy. Now, I stand firm and pray. That's awesome. Armor of God. By the way, uh, I found out Mikey wants to be a police officer too. Yeah. That'd be so cool. Mikey and so Francesca cool. driving down in the car together. I don't know which one to be driving. Francesca, are you going to drive or Mikey's going to be driving the car? Mikey. Mikey's driving the car. Yeah, yeah, car. Idea. Yes. And I could be eating Krispy Kremes and having some coffee. Krispy Kremes and some coffee. <laughs> All right, you guys might prefer hot chocolate right now. Oh, maybe hot chocolate. At some point. Yes. So, hot chocolate. Yes. So here's the armor of God. We, we went through uh, just to describe it fast. We're going to be talking about throughout the next few weeks the belt of truth. Ooh, I like that. Okay. The armor of godliness, or the Bible describes the breastplate of righteousness. Yeah, armor of godliness heart. covering our hearts. Yeah. All right? The good news boots. All oh, right? The good news boots. All right? So, you know what? As we do this, so let's talk about it. All right, guys, guys, we're going to talk about belt of truth. All right? So, you're home, you're here. Grab your belt, put it on. Belt of truth. Put them on. Get ready for this today. All right? We're going to put on the armor of godliness. Armor of godliness. Yep. All right, get on your good news boots. Get on those good news boots. All right, grab your shield of faith. Shield. All right, shield of faith. Put on the helmet of salvation. And here we go. Grab the sword of the spirit. Let's go. All right, so here we go. These are um, the armor, everyday armor. Things we're supposed to put on every day. And so you're like, how do we put this on? Uh, you know. It's a spiritual battle, a spiritual armor that God gives each one of us. Yep. So we have a great story, a great lesson for you today. So yep. watch this video with us and you can learn more about putting on armor each and every day. Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. God is fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. But the devil, his enemy, is evil and tries to trick us into believing lies about God. Lies like, God doesn't really love us, or that we shouldn't trust or obey God. The Bible tells us that the devil was a beautiful and powerful angel who once served God. But because the devil was full of pride, he thought he was more powerful than God and tried to take over heaven. His attempt failed, because no one is more powerful than God. So God threw him and his followers down from heaven. Since that time, the devil has made evil plans to trick God's people into listening to him instead of listening to God. You're probably wondering if we should be afraid of the devil. The answer is no. He may be sneaky, but we don't need to be afraid of him. When we decide to follow Jesus, God makes us a part of his army and gives us powerful armor to fight anything the devil tries to use against us. In Ephesians 6, each piece of armor is a symbol for how God protects us from the devil's evil plans. The first thing we put on is the belt of truth. It makes us able to spot the devil's lies. We also put on the armor of godliness, which helps us make right choices. When we put the good news boots on our feet, 
we have the courage to go and tell people about Jesus. This helps God's army grow, and the devil can't stand it. We get the shield of faith to help us trust God and block anything the devil tries to send our way. We wear the helmet of salvation to help us remember we are a part of God's family and nothing can separate us from his love. When we carry the sword of the spirit, which is the Bible, we have the power to stand strong by using God's words, which defeat the devil. He may want to take us down, but the truth is he can't. God already won the battle over evil when he brought Jesus back to life. And one day he will remove the devil and his bad angels forever. Until then, we can grow in our friendship with God each day as we spend time with Him and get ready for battle. We can put on God's armor. That's awesome. So the reminder is we don't have to be afraid of the devil at all, right? So because why? We are in God's army, right? When you when you ask Jesus into your heart, you automatically become a part of God's army, and that means you've got God's protection. He's yep. on your side. And so he gave us this armor, all right? And so if you guys remember, we'll be talking about more and more about this in the next few weeks. So uh, you're going to start remembering these really well. But see how well you remember today, all right? Okay. So um, he says that the first thing we put on is the belt of truth. 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 All right. Putting on the belt of truth. Yeah. Then the armor of? Godliness. Armor Godliness. of godliness. godliness. That's awesome. And then we put on the boots. what? The good news boots, all right? Putting on the good news boots. And then we put on the helmet of salvation. salvation. Helmet of salvation. Grabbing the shield of faith. And the sword of the spirit. 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 Awesome. So we're gonna break it down and yeah. each one of those a little bit more, but you know, the the uh, godliness, armor of godliness, breastplate of righteousness yeah. protects our heart. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Making sure we're doing the right thing, right? Yeah. You know, or the belt truth, you know, not only keeps our pants up, but it's, it's a good thing, right? It helps us be ready to, 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 to know what's wrong and what's That's right, right. And, and, and keep keep things where they're supposed, where to, they're be, supposed to be, right? Yep. And then you're putting on the good news boots, and that helps us go and tell people yeah, about tell Jesus. People. The people. good news of Jesus, Walk around, right? Because the good news is that we won. Yeah. The victory, Listen, Jesus already defeated them. And good news isn't going to do you any good if you're just standing We got to tell somebody yeah, about it, right? Go yes, tell them. the good news boots. Yeah. And then put in helmet of salvation, which protects our mind, all right? It keeps us secure in God's yep, word. Exactly. Then we have the shield of faith, which yep. protects us when the enemy Texas tries to attack us. Sometimes he's going to do that. Yep, and the faith the shield is like, nope, God's got this, God's and he's protecting me. And yep. then he gives us, so we can fight back, sword of spirit, the Bible. And we can use that and say, no, so back we, up, because this yep. is what the Bible says. We'll defend with our shield, but we're going to go out there with and the we're going to fight with our That's sword. That's right. So we're going to learn more about that in the next few weeks. Here, though, is our verse for the whole series that we want you to remember, uh, to memorize. And so we found it in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Ephesians 6, verse 11. Ooh, Ephesians 6, verse 11? Yes. I love that verse. Yes, okay. it says, put on all God's armor, then you can remain strong, right, against the devil's evil plans. Awesome. All right, so do that with me. We're going to kind of do some motions for this. Okay, so we're going right. to so put on. So put on. All right, put it says on. all of God's oh, armor. God. All right, so okay. put on, put it on first. all of God's army, all of God's armor, yeah. then you can remain strong, strong. strong. and strong. then strong. against, strong. all right? So, against. Yeah, yeah. Well, we so against. Like we're gonna fight. yeah, against yep. the against. evil plans, all right? The devil's the evil, evil plans. plans. Yep. Oh, wow, we got some armor in the house. All right, so say it with me, guys. All right, put on all of God's yep. armor, yep. right? Then you can remain strong. And against the devil's evil, evil plans. plans. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Ephesians we 6, got it. 11. That's the cool thing is that we got it. That's we right. Got it all. We God got it. Us. God gave us every day. You have to wear this armor. Always available. Everyday armor. Everyday armor. Everyday armor. All right. Guys, say that verse with us nice and loud one more time. All right. Here we go. Put on all of God's armor that you can remain strong against the devil's evil plans. Ephesians 6, 11. Great, great verse, great so uh, just a re reminder of who God is and what He's doing for us each and every day. Yep. So, guys, learn this verse, 
All right, and uh, as you memorize it, if you get it memorized, take a video of yourself saying it, send it our way. Yep. We'll have the show on here for everyone else to see you say it. If you have any of God's armor at home and you want to wear it and take a picture of it and show it to us, yeah, no, no, like, like, like example, it. come here, Francesca, like, uh, oh, oh, for yeah. example, come here, come here, come here, come here, maybe you have armor like this, whoa, <laughs> like this, all right, Woo, we got so the cool. armor so belly rest, and we got the sword and spear represents, all right, and we so got cool. the earth giants as the helmet of salvation, let's go giants, I mean, yeah, they're not, that's something I like to do in the city, they're not fighting, go see the game, yeah, they're in Jersey, though. I know they're in Jersey, that's right, close enough, all right, Guys, it doesn't so say New York City. So you go to we city. have an awesome song for you. Uh, I've got the kiddos. We're going to come up and okay, leave talking about the armor of God. Oh, I love All it. All right. Watch this. Okay. Put on the full armor of God. Stay strong against the evil one. Put on the full armor of God. The full armor of God. First things first, got the bell to choose. Let's go. All right, God bless you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.